Dat is wel zo'n gewoon van. Vind ik heel zo kijk naar Gud stijl. Ah ja, hoe staat dit? Hallo folks. Oh dear. Kel, zeg maar goed. Hi folks. Hier we gaan, hier we gaan again. We're going to make a Christmas card today. Well, we're going to tap two. No, we've got one completed just to make sure that we do reach this. And this card is referred to in another video as being one that I made for this video. And Ruth liked it, so she's getting it for Christmas. So we're sorted. And she also found one that she'd made last year um, with a banner on it. And she's going to show you how to do it. Today. Off you go. Right. Show them a punch. I keep calling this a stamp, so I might refer it to as refer it. I might refer to it as a stamp, but it's actually a bunch. If you're going to do this kind of card, you've got to have something that's got a circle around it. If it doesn't get a circle around it, it'd be a lot more difficult. This here is the Carl Punch Mate. Now, as probably you've heard before, I have got problems with my thumbs, with joints having been removed. So I find punching with the heel of my hand very difficult. But this is a Punch Mate, which helps me to punch without the pain. If you've got arthritic wrists or arthritic, arthritic hands, this is actually a very good thing to buy. I can recommend it. So you have it and you face it round like that and you place your punch on there. Yes. Okay, you've got your punch. If you're using the punch meat, whether you're using the punch meat or not, you put your card in and line it up you're doing it by hand you'll press it down for me you can't do that so I'm using that it'll make a bit of a noise unfortunately and I'm going to lift this up so that you can actually see then you move along to the edge of that circle bring the lever down punch it I'll just prove so that we can see what you're doing yeah because it's coming out the other side come down punch it and I would have a go at doing it the other way but I'd end up hurting my hands so I might just try the last you want about five so I will compromise and I will now take away the punch meat and turn it that away there's your one two three four so you take it up to the very edge of your circle and if I can't do this then you'll understand why and you oh, oh sorry I can't I can't I can't do that one with that one so I need to finish this one off because I'm not not prepared to <laughs> makes quite a difference it, it? it really does actually I mean I'm not I'm not no, there's another, promoting this one no I've got another me but We're not that already me. for me has hit in there and it's just one two three four five and you just then trim your extra piece off like so and that gives you your your piece there that actually is unbelievably different right you? that's it then Ruth so if you hand me the bit you saw the bit that I punched is that one there right but we've got five little trees oh did you tell them the size of card size of card is it's two inches and you punch five trees and you have to Trim a little bit off, trim it till it looks level. If it's a wee bit bigger at the top, take a little bit off. I'm all for make it look right. And if it's not quite according to the dimensions I've given, you just do it till it looks right. Yes, yeah, so we're on a tartan theme. We're doing Scottish cards, by the way. So this tartan ribbon, I don't know if you, you'd be able to buy it in America, in New Zealand and places like that, wouldn't you? Oh, hi. Oh, absolutely. So you put the ribbon in the top of the card and bring it round and up behind the first Christmas tree. Would you like me to zoom you in? Well, I would, but I'm not altogether <laughs> pleased to how you might do it. I just love that there confidence you have in me. I think you're right. Just you keep playing yourself there. Very kind of beautiful laughing. <laughs> so basically, it's just Take a hurry. weaving behind the trees. Weaving behind the trees, folks. And so it would be the forest look. Goldilocks, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Weaving behind the trees. Yeah. And it's not too too wide ribbon, by the way, because Ruth pointed out to me that when you mat and layer it onto the shi shiny card. You have to see the circle. 
Right. You're good, you're doing really well. <coughs> I'll look the other way. Well, please double sided tape in the back. Here's one we prepared five minutes ago. And you tuck the ribbon over the top and secure it. And then, a pair of scissors. Get creative colours, folks. Blue and teal. Cut the ribbon and stick it over. And then you put another bit of double sided tape over the top of the ribbon uh, that you've just attached so that it's going to stick properly when Ruth does the matting and layering bit. I'll pick it off to give it a start for you. Or do you want to know? Do you, feel, you, you feel free? No. Right, so if you As they say in Scotland, whick it! Whick it off. Whick it off! And tidy with it is clearing up as I speak. Tidying up. <laughs> well, the one look at this table means no. 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 But we do like to sort. There. Once you've got it to that point, you're taking that bit off as well. That off? Oh, I'll take it all off. That's fine. Not take the side bits off. No, lift that. Da 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 da. I See? thought you'd enjoy that. I'm not that compulsive. We'll just throw it all over my craft table. You get a bin somewhere? Oh, underneath, but you see, that's the crazy bit. The bin's right underneath the table, but I just throw it at the table. And then all I'm going to do is put it on here, and I'm not worrying about whether it's very straight or not straight because I will fix that with the trimmer. And if you remember from previous videos, the trimmer has got a, an edge to it. Yes, I'll refer you to the correct video that shows a close up and of how she does. Take it to the very, very edge of the white card, like so. Take it along. Same at this side. It leaves a just, a shall I say, a smidgen? <laughs> it would be. Yeah, it will be a smidgen. There's only, a, there's only one way to describe a smidgen, and that's a wee bit. I think they decided it was about two millimetres. Well, I decided it was about two millimetres. <laughs> what I was going to say was, I didn't decide that, but I don't go until the... I do um, minimum measuring. Wouldn't you be terrible if I cut the ribbon? I was just thinking that. That was quite close, wasn't it? Mm. But I might have chopped your wee bit of ribbon off that you so carefully... And there you have the next part done. It's quite nice backing it onto it. It's some really shiny I could have, used, could have used my new ruler. Oh yes. If you can get it open. <laughs> <laughs> my, my half and half ruler. That's good. I want to put it on my neck. I got a place. I've got a from this. Yes. I lashed, I lashed out Nasda. So there you have that one. Oh, we've got lots. And Alice has got some that she's already prepared. I'm going to trim this down another little bit. We should have given the um, honour to put on the review that it was Anne who uh -huh. des designed this idea of putting the ribbon through the trees and we think ribbon works best but she told us that you can use That's tartan better. paper. Two lots of tartan paper. I'm going to leave you for a second. Oh you're right and we've got Christmas paper which works very well. <laughs> Get vellum. I don't know where she's going to. She keeps me amused, that's for sure. Anyway, while well, she's flitting about, I'll fold the cards. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my stickles. Where, where do you fold this when you fold it in the half? Which line uh -huh. is it? A4 gate? I would say so, yeah. Right. Well, this is a there. piece of A5 card. What size is that in America? We don't know. Round about half a litre. Got my board. Are you bored? I said, would you like... <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of hole here. Would you like my board? <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. No, I'm not bored. <laughs> I'm firing it off. Mm. Oh, that was right in front of what I was going to do. Oh, I'm, sorry. That was I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because what... Do you want me to do this bit just now? No, no, because when you stick it onto the card, it's going to get all messy. That's true. So I'll not do it. I didn't need to fly across there for anything. In actual fact, what you will do 
is decorate these little pieces with stickles. Oh, she's done this one. That one's been started. She started one. And don't forget, before you do it, you have to put your tape on the back of that one, and then you put it flat down on... Well, I thought you were actually going to stick that to show them. Well, I'll stick that if you want, would you? If we've got time. Oh, I think we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. We've got 15 minutes to play with folks. Well, that doesn't take long to do. And this is crafty. Whoop it, you're speaking to. This is... Who is fast. Fast, fast, fast. And the secret of doing this, if you're doing it with a thick tape, is, is actually to take your first layer off first. Because oh. if it overlaps... That's a good tip. If it overlaps, it's, it's very hard because it's slightly broader. This one here, folks, actually was braided onto glitter card. Because um, double sided tape doesn't stick off all well to glitter card. Correct. Braided onto glitter card, then stuck. Oh, you're the last of the tape. <laughs> How about that? How was that? Mm -hmm. For and then um, Ruth's got punches, stamping up punches that do these ovals. Yeah. Or ellipses, as we talk about. Yes, we talk about my, my elliptical punches. And then she sticks it straight oval. down. Straight. To put it off. Just watch, watch, watch your leadership for a minute. Oh, you're going oh, to watch right, it? No, no, I'm not going to watch it. Okay, put some peel offs on the shiny uh, oval card, brad it all on, and then put the glitter card onto. This is actually a DL card. Another way secret when you put that on, instead of bashing it down on that side to make sure it's stuck, open it up and do it on the inside. That's a good idea because that's much printing one thing. Because it's that. very, very easy to catch the tree in some way. And then I'm going to finish it off with the stickles. Stickling. And it's just a case of doing the tree. I'm going to do these ones because I want this one to be quite delicate like myself. <coughs> so, we wish you Merry Christmas. That's right, you were going to sing mm -hmm. some Christmas cards for YouTube. No, I wasn't. <laughs> she suggested <laughs> it, but it's video. No, it's at all. Yes. I never agreed to that at all. You did. You we promised wish Becky. wish you a Merry Christmas, Becky, and a Happy New Year. There you are, folks. That's, I've performed for you for this year. And I think this can be done in any colour of stickle. Uh, another wee secret is I was told when I started with stickles is get a neutral one which is usually crystal frosted lace or diamond diamond because it picks up any colour and if you go and you buy the reds and the greens and the golds and the silvers it becomes very expensive so it now finishes up and it's looking like that Fair and nice. all you need to do is probably put a Merry Christmas greeting or a peel off greeting and you have a Scottish Christmas card. So this is the first video on the Scottish theme. Aye. For the new. Oh ho, no ho. Aye. Ta-da. Well, I'll say goodbye in Gaelic then. Bianna Clive.